For this video, we are going to be discussing scientific notation. <clears throat> so what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is just a way of writing very big or very small numbers. It's a way that we can write these numbers so that we're not listing out how crazy long they are. For example, the distance from the sun to the earth is 1.5 times 10 to the ninth kilometers. All right, if you look in this picture, that's the same thing as one five zero 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 kilometers all right so instead of writing this long number we can just write it as 1.5 times 10 to the ninth kilometers by the same logic we use the we can use scientific notation to talk about the mass of an electron an electron is just one of the tiny subatomic particles that makes up an atom and they're teeny 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 tiny they are 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. That's a decimal place with 31 zeros and then 91 in it. So instead of writing out all those 31 zeros, we can just write 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So that's why we use scientific notation. It's just a way to write really big or really small numbers. So, what does scientific notation look like? Scientific no numbers in scientific notation will always be written in the form a times 10 to the nth power. And a is always going to be some number between 1 and 10. It could be 1.6, it could be 2.347, it could be 6, it could be 9.98721. All right, it could be any number that's between one and 10. It has to have one number to the left of the decimal place, and it can have as many numbers as it wants to the right of the decimal place. But it's gotta be a number between one and 10. For example, it could not be 0.7 because that number's smaller than one. It can't be 12.2 because that number's bigger than 10. It has to be a number that is between one and 10. An n has to be an integer, all right? It can be 6, 8, negative 3, 2, negative 46. It can be whatever it wants as long as it is, is, is an integer. It can't be 2.9. It can't be negative 31.6. No rational numbers have to be integers. So some examples of numbers written in scientific notation are like... 3.2 times 10 to the eighth power, or 7.41 times 10 to the negative 26th power. All right, this number is between one and 10, and this number is an integer, and 10 always stays 10. So we're gonna talk first, oh, I suppose we should say this, when n is positive, when this n is positive, our number is bigger than 10. For example, 1,234 is equal to 1.234 times 10 to the third power. Because this number is big, n is positive. And n is negative when the number is smaller than 1. For example, 5.38 is equal, or sorry, 0.538 is equal to 5.38 times 10 to the negative 1. n is negative because this number is smaller than 1. So you can just think that big numbers have positive n's and small, very small numbers have negative n's. So the first thing we're going to talk about is converting from scientific or from standard notation to scientific notation. Standard notation is a number like 506. And scientific notation would be like 5.06 times 10 to the second power. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our decimal point, our decimal place, so that the number is between 1 and 10. So, for example, on 506, I took my decimal point from the end here and I moved it 1, 2 times to get 5.06. And then if the original number is bigger than 10, like it is here, then our n is positive. I don't know why there's an M here. Our N is positive. 
So if the number is then, but if the number is less than one, then the n is negative. For example, if I said like 0.723, I want to move my decimal point so that the number is between one and ten. So I just move it one place here, 7.23, and my number becomes 7.23 times 10 to the negative one power because I just moved it one time. So let's look at some examples. So example one says convert from sci convert to scientific notation, and I'm given this number right here, three million two hundred and forty-seven thousand. So I want you to pause the video right now, write this down, and see if you can figure it out for yourself. All right, now that you've tried this one, let's work it out. I've got the number three million two hundred and forty-seven thousand, and my decimal point is right here at the end, and I want to move my decimal point so that my number is between 1 and 10, which means that I can only have one number to the left of the decimal point. So I go over here and I say here's a, where the decimal point should go, so that there's only one number to the left, and now I just want to count the number of times I moved it. So I move my decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So now I know my number is going to be times 10 to the sixth power. This is positive because my number is big, it's bigger than 10. And my a over here is just going to be 3.247. And these zeros all just kind of disappear. Any zeros that aren't trapped by something kind of just fall off at the end. So my answer is just 3.247 times 10 to the sixth power. All right, you just move the decimal point the number becomes a number between 1 and 10. We write down the n is the number of times we move the decimal point. If the number is big, then n is positive. So let's look at a second example. It says, convert to scientific notation, and I've got 0 .007562. So once again, I put my decimal point so that I'm only going to have one number to the left of the decimal. These zeros are just going to fall off. So my a is 7.2. Five, six, two, and now I just count how many places I moved it. I put moved it one, two, three times. So this is times ten to the third. And because this number is small, because it's less than one, it's ten to the negative third power. So seven point five six two times ten to the negative third power is the same thing as. 0 0.007562. That is our answer. So now we're going to talk about going the other way to convert from scientific notation to standard notation. So we're going to move the de decimal n places, and if n is positive, we're going to move the decimal to the right, and if n is negative, negative, then we're going to move the decimal to the left. So let's look at example number three. Example number three says convert to standard notation. And I've got 4.728 times 10 to the fifth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out, 4.728 is times 10 to the fifth. Five is positive, which tells me that I'm going to move my decimal to the right. All right, so I'm going to take my decimal point and I'm going to go, all right, one, two, three, four, five. And my decimal point's going to be here. You'll notice I have two missing spaces right here. And what I would do is I fill those missing spaces in with zeros. So my new number ends up being four, seven, two, eight, zero, zero. 472,800. So all I did is I took my decimal point and I moved it n spaces, n being 5 in this case. Because 5 is positive, I moved to the right, and my answer is 472,800. Example number 4 says convert to scientific notation, and I've got 6.2 times 10 to the negative 6 power. So once again, I've got 6.22. I'm going to move the decimal 6 places, and because, it, because my n is negative, I'm going to the left now. I'm going 
this ne negative 6 tells me that I'm going to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. My decimal point ends up here. And just like before, any empty spaces I have in here get replaced with 0. So my answer end up becoming point zero 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 six two two. So all I did is I moved my decimal point n spaces, six spaces, and because n is negative, I moved to the right. So this giant decimal here is the same thing as six point two two times ten to the negative six power. So here's your try problem for tonight, and there are two of them. Number one says convert to scientific notation, and I'll give you this number right here. And number two says convert to standard notation, and I give you this number. So you need to do both of these in your notes and bring them to class tomorrow.